We're solving problem 22 from the AMC 10B from 2022. Aunt Amelia starts on the number line at 0 and crawls in the following manner. For n equals 1, 2, and 3, Amelia chooses a time duration t of n, an increment, and an in increment of x sub n independently and uniformly at random from the interval 0 to 1. During the nth step of the process, Amelia moves x sub n units in the positive direction using up t sub n minutes. If the total elapsed time has exceeded one minute during the nth step, she stops at the end of the step. Otherwise, she continues with the next step, taking at most three steps in all. What is the probability that Amelia's position when she stops will be greater than one? So, um, so basically, what this problem is trying to tell us, she's on a number line keyword, and she's basically just crawling uh, on the number line, taking three steps at most. Now, it asks for the probability that when she stops, it will be greater than one. Let's just uh, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc., etc. So, uh, so for n, 1, 2, and 3, uh, so, well, the problem states you can st take three steps in all. And we want to find the probability that when she stops, it's going to be greater than 1. And we say, so these two are the only values that work because 0 and 1 are not greater than 1. There are two cases. So if we consider case 1, uh, uh, two steps, this has a base probability of 1 half occurring um, because there's only two of these and choosing one of these has a probability of one half. And, well, let's see. The probability that Amelia passes one after two steps is also one half. Case two. Case two is where um, she takes three steps. Uh, this also has a probability of one half occurring as there are two on there. And, well, what's the probability that she crosses what she crosses the number line after what after three steps? Well, that's just going to be a variable call it X because we don't know. Summing this, uh, uh, this probability for the two steps, we multiply one half and one half, and add to it one half times x. One f this is one fourth plus one half times x. Now we know this. Notice, if x is equal to one, um, then that means this whole sum is three fourths. If, well, and uh. We know that x has to be an integer, so um, the least possible value for this is uh, 1 half, or greatest possible, no, least value for this is 1 half, uh, as x can be 1 fourth. This is low, x is lowest value. So we have the bounds 1 half and 3 fourths. What's in between there? Two-thirds, so that is simply our answer for this problem.